All right, Shalom. First and foremost, I'd like to give all praises, glory, and honor to Yahweh Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Harakak, Wadash. Once again, giving double honors to the elders and the apostles of Great Millstone, who I learned this truth from. And all you faithful locking throughout the four winds, continue pushing this truth and um, righteousness and sincerity and endure till the end. And this video right here is going to be a response just to land back on every brother's video that made a response to, uh, to, to one of the dudes, what's his name? Deacon. Um, um, from the Sakari, Deacon something, whatever his name is, anyway, not important. And, um, but what is important is that um, the Most High and Yahweh Shai are going to bring a severe judgment upon anybody that does not believe in his word or, the, or that does not use the word of the Heavenly Father faithfully. Okay, and this is one example right here, what not to be. And I'm going to grab scriptures, of course, precepts. Uh, why we say that um, you have to stop following all these different Israelite camps you know you got to stop doing that all right you have to be uh, fully persuaded in your mind you got to uh, be convinced already who has the truth and plus the most high is gonna uh, be the one that put th puts that in your mind to you know to draw you to Yahweh Shai to, to know who's got the truth or not not jump from one Israelite camp to another no it doesn't work like that all right it's gonna be a group of men that the most high said what that are going to be in this matter of fact, let me grab that. That are going to be in the same like mind in these last days. Because a lot of Israelite camps out there teach contrary. You know, it's just like um, here in this world, for example, you got the Roman Catholics, you got the so called Christians, you got the Muslims, you got the five percenters, you got the Pan Africanisms, you got the Dr. Umar Johnsons, whatever, whatever the case may be, you got the rap world, and they're all teaching contrary things. Showing you that this world has a division. So in this truth too, the world, ha uh, the the truth has a division too, and the, even in the Israelite world, eh, there's a division. We cannot all get along. This ain't about coming together with everybody. It's not gonna work like that. But anyway, this First Corinthians, chapter one, and verse ten. First Corinthians, chapter one and verse ten. Now I beseech you, Achim, by the name of our Lord Yahweh Shai Mashiach that he all speak the same thing. So we're speaking the same thing. With RFID microchip, the castless society, uh, World War III, rumors of wars, Russia, nuclear missiles, rebuking wicked ass niggas like Sakari, all these other Israelite camps out there we're doing. We're, so we're speaking the same thing. We're not contrary, we're speaking the same exact truth or the same thing, right? That he all, because you got a lot of these Israelite camps that uh, come together for unity camps, all right? And matter of fact, I hold Amos 3 and 3 since I said that. You got uh, a lot of Israelite camps that come together with these unity camps, and all they do is teach contrary doctrines. Fopi has one doctrine. They don't believe that Esau is a so-called white man. Then you got dudes that don't believe the RFID microchip is, is, the, is the mark, or the mark of the beast. Then you have um, Israelite camps that teach like the Samaritan woman is an Israelite and not a Hamite woman. You know, I forgot what Israelite camp that is, but they teach contrary doctrines, but they all come together to talk about love and unity. It don't work like that. We have to be in unity with Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai, and what he left our apostles to attain. And that's the doctrine of Yahweh Shai. Okay, and that's what's been taught, and that's what we continue to follow. So anyway, uh, 1 Corinthians chapter 1, verse... Uh, 10 chapter 1 verse 10 now I beseech you Akim by the name of our Lord Amashak Yahweh Shai matter of fact let's look at that word bese beseech right quick I beseech the Greek word is parakaleo some I don't know if I pronounced that right G, 3870 parakaleo 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 okay the Greek word uh, G3870 parakaleo to call to one side, call for summon, to address, to admonish, exhort, to beg, to receive consolation, to be comforted, to encourage, to instruct, right, and to encourage. So the apostles of old encouraged men of like mind to follow the same doctrine and also to, to teach other men what we've been taught. Not to say, okay, now you teach this, but you teach that. No, it's gotta be the same doctrine. So we beseech each other, right? And that he all speak, Salakiv, uh, now I beseech you, Akim, by the name of our Lord, Yahweh Shai Mashiach, that he all speak the same thing. 
and that there be no divisions among you, but that he be perfectly joined together in the same mind and in the same judgment. So we have to be perfectly joined together in his truth. We cannot have contrary doctrines. Oh, I don't believe this no more. I don't, I, I don't believe that no more. No, you have to be fully persuaded in your own mind. So what? That there be no divisions among you. So let's play this. Matter of fact, let's grab Amos 3 and 3 since I mentioned that. This um, Amos chapter, chapter 3 and starting at verse 1, matter of fact. Hear this word that the Lord Yahweh, why Yahweh Shai have spoken against you, O children of Israel, which consists of you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native American Indians, or you so-called Seminole Indians. Okay, because we fit the curses perfectly that's written in the Bible. No other people go through what we go through. That's why they try and exterminate us with the, you know what, going door to door. You know, violating their own constitutional rights. The Fourth and Fifth Amendments are being violated by the so-called white man. You know, they, but they will, but they will roll on Jakes that don't know their constitutional rights. If you don't know them, they're going to roll on you. These devils make up laws as they go. They falsify everything. Anyway, against the whole family, which I have brought up from the land of Egypt, saying, right, the ancient Egypt, and now the Lord is going to bring up what? Uh, he's going to bring out the elect. Not all Israel on this side is going to be saved. At first, when we came out of Egypt, the Lord brought all of the Israelites out. Pretty much, pretty much brought all of us out. But guess what, though? Not all of these Israelites here are going to be saved this time. You see that? And this Egypt, this Babylon, this American uh, society, against the whole family which I brought up from the land of Egypt, saying, you only have I known of all the families of the earth. So there we go with the possessive pronouns. The Most High is always specific who he deals with. You only have I known of all the families of the earth. So you had all these other families and nations of people on the surf till this day, they're still on the surf. They did not go nowhere. Okay, there's no end of all the people. They did not go nowhere. But the Lord said what? You Israelites are, are the only ones I recognize, I know. Never mind these other nations of people. That's why in Deuteronomy 7 and 6, the Lord calls us a special people. And a lot of you Israelites are not acting like a peculiar treasure. You're not acting like you're the most highest people. You acting like a bunch of gangbangers, drug dealers, a bunch of whores, a bunch of murderers, extortioners. So the Most High's got to kill you on the side, and that's rightfully so, because all you're doing is spreading the cancer. Now, even even in, in the disease world, if, so, if a cancer is spreading, the doctors, what? They try to cut off that cancer from spreading. So the Most High is going to cut you niggas off from spreading the cancer to its own people and the rest of the society. You niggas got to go, man. You niggas got to go. We don't feel no compassion, no remorse, no sorrow for you niggas, man, including a lot of our family members. You niggas got to fucking go. Anyway, you only have I known of all the families of the earth, therefore I will punish you for all your iniquities. So the Most High has punished us by putting us on cargo slave ships, but he said what? Therefore I will punish you for all your iniquities. So he's still punishing us, but he's going to do it what? This time he's going to do it by, by famines, pestilence, diseases, earthquakes. What else? Um, um, ICBM nuclear missiles and the chariots. What's to be the, 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 the icing on the cake, so to speak? So you niggas in for one hell of a surprise. You people out here are delusional. You actually believe a lie. The Most High put, uh, put a delusion in you people's mind. You actually believe it. You actually believe you conquered the Most High something. You niggas out there actually believe you higher than the Most High. The Most High laughs at this shit. Anyway, that's another story for another day. But anyway. <laughs> Amos 3 and 3 Can two walk together except they be agreed So all these other Israelite camps Are all in league together But teach different doctrines That's wicked Okay So that's simple and straight to the point on that Now let's grab the Let's play a little bit of this And it's from the brother Amawanga Bars page GMS Awakening 144 at the end The Bible Is not the word of God But the word of God is contained in the Bible what? Now you heard what he said, right? Repeat that again. The Bible is not the word of God, but the word of God is contained in the Bible. Okay, he said the Bible is not the word of God, but the word of God is contained in the Bible. 
See, this is just another, like, look, man, let's grab this precept right quick. Evil meant to wax worse, right? This is um, 2 Timothy chapter 3 and verse... 2 Timothy chapter 3, starting at verse 12. Yea, and all that will live godly in the Mashiach Yahweh Shai shall suffer persecution. And it's not speaking about uh, Adam Abbott antagonizing the police to lock you up. That's not what it's speaking about. When you suffer, the Most High has got to put that suffering on you. So you can really uh, uh, not, not try to act like you're suffering. Oh, I'm suffering. Oh, I'm suffering. Oh, look what I went through. The police locked me up. Go get Acts chapter 5. That's not it. That, that's how you know them niggas are off, man. That's not old leader. The most high's got to put you through that suffering. You're not you, you creating your own suffering. You're causing uh, problems upon yourself. Verse 13. And this is the point here. But evil men and seducers so wax worse and worse, deceiving and being deceived. Now, uh, what's that nigga's name? Um, Alazar. About a week ago, he said that Hebrews um, is not the word of God. It's not inspired by God. But right, but it says here. Plenty of scriptures for this. All scripture. This is um 2 Timothy chapter 3 and verse 16. All scripture is given by inspiration of Yahweh, why Yahweh shine. That word inspiration, in literally means in, is spot out, it means to breathe in. So the Most High breathed in the inspiration or this truth in these men that, that, that wrote the Bible throughout time, throughout history. Okay, and those holy men were all Hebrew Israelites, none else. All scriptures given by inspiration of God and is profitable for doctrine, for reproof, for correction, for instruction in righteousness. Okay, so the book of Hebrews, like I, I'm going to say it again, Sakari cannot pull out no scripture from the book of Hebrews any longer, since you don't believe that's the word of God. Now you got your boy over here saying the word, the Bible is not the word of God, but God's word is in the Bible. What, does that even make sense? You niggas are bugged the fuck out your mind. You waxing worse and worse. And the most I said, what, he's going to choose your delusion. All you're doing is killing yourself, just like these niggas out here in the street. The so-called white man drops these guns and these drugs, and guess what they do? Fall right into the trap. So the Most High set a trap too. You niggas that hate Yahweh Shai and hate the word. Okay, but anyway, here's another scripture. Um, great is the company of them that published it. Published. See if I can find this one right quick. The Psalm 68 and verse 11. The Lord Yahweh Shai, the Lord Yahweh Yahweh Shai gave the word. Great was the company of those that published it. Right, and holy men as they were moved by the Holy Spirit. It's funny how people say the Bible don't exist, the Bible don't exist, this and the Bible that. But everything people do in the society fits perfectly with what the Bible says. You can't get around it. You, I was about to mention a bunch of homosexuality and two homos walk right by. You can't make this stuff up. And the example always comes by. All right, you got wicked rulers ruling the earth right now. The so-called white man Esau Edom. You can't make it up. They rule. They control everything. Your IDs, your passports, social security, you name it. They got it. The music industry. Okay, they love when you niggas talk about that drill music. Gun each other down. They love that shit. They love that shit. They hoping for more. Okay. So great is the company. The, the Lord gave the word. Great was the company of those that published it. So the whole book is inspired by the Heavenly Father, and, okay? And here's another one right here. Oh, man, what's that? Salak, let me try to find this. Um, Holy men. Holy men as they were moved. This is um, 2 Peter chapter 1. 2 Peter, that's why the scriptures say, Seek ye out of the book of the Lord and read. None of these shall want or mate. No book on this earth has life in it. There's something that you people don't get. There's mysteries within the book, within the Bible, that pisses everybody in the society off. They challenge the Israelites, but yet they lose. And a lot of those other Israelites, they, the Barney Club, like the IUIC, the All Purple Wing, uh, speak about uh, the Most High Blessing Christ. You know, we so we know them dudes is bugged the hell out. 
but all these other Israelites to even to come against this truth are gonna get grounded of powder. You're gonna get grounded. So anyway, first second Peter chapter one and verse 20. Ain't no book on this earth could, could, could touch the Bible or even come close to the scriptures. Not one book. Second Peter chapter one and verse 20. That's why Esau Edom did his best to try to uh, write other books. You know, when you go into the, to the library or when you go into the bookstore, you got millions of books on, on a bookshelf, but none of those books got truth. Not none of those books. But when you go into the Bible, it fits perfectly with the, with the creation. No book does that. So Esau Edom tried to throw off people's minds and judgments of what's the truth and what's not the truth. This devil failed on that. Second Peter chapter one and verse 20. Knowing this first, that no prophecy of the scripture is of any private interpretation. Yes, yeah, so we let you know exactly what it is. For the prophecy came not in no time by the will of man. So everything that was jotted down, every jot and, and tittle was jotted down, didn't come from the will of man. It ain't about man's will, all right? That's showing you there's no such thing as free will. It came by what? The heavenly father, then it says what? And it says here, for the prophecy came not in no time by the will of man, but holy men of God. So the most I obviously had to choose those men, right? Holy men of Yahweh, Yahweh Shai, spake as they were moved by the Holy Spirit. And what gives you that Holy Spirit? Let's go to Job chapter 32 and verse 8. What gives you, who, who gives you that Holy Spirit? And what, what is that Holy Spirit, should I ask? Okay, yeah, the Most High gives you the Holy Spirit. And the Holy Spirit, what is this? Understanding. All right, the, the Comforter. But anyway, Job 32 and verse 8. But there is a spirit in man, and the inspiration of the Almighty giveth them understanding. So we're telling you, you younger, you younger Jakes out there, watch out for these other Israelite camps. Watch out for these Sikaris. Look up the name Sikari. Look them up. There were dagger toting thugs back in the ancient world when the Most High allowed Esau, Edom, or the Romans to roll on our people and they fled into Masada and they were cornered off. Things got so bad for them they had to commit suicide. Look it up. Them niggas ain't real, man. Them niggas ain't real. But there is a spirit in man and the inspiration of the Almighty giveth them understanding. So we're going to go into the word inspiration, right? Inspiration, H Hebrew, Nashama, or H5397, Nashama, Nashama, I believe it is, or Nasham. Let me see something. Nasham, Nasham. And it says here, breath, spirit, breath of God, breath of man, breath, every breathing thing, spirit of man. So everybody on the surf either has a wicked spirit or they have a righteous spirit. Everybody on the surf, like the so-called white man, got a spirit to what? Rape, rob, murder, kill, destroy. All right? Everybody, the two-thirds got a spirit of what? Gun each other down. You see that? The so-called black woman, the loud-speaking black woman. The most time made you niggas do that shit. It's all written in the Bible. Why you can't grow your hair? Instead of sweet smell, there should be stink, if you know what I'm talking about. The most I got a sense of human. Yes, it's all in the scriptures. Your vaginal yeast infections. It's all written in the scriptures. Yes. We let it all be known, man. Okay? So anyway, read that again. So it's the spirit of the Heavenly Father in us. So, but there is a spirit in man and the inspiration, which inspiration literally means to breathe in of the Almighty Yahweh Yahweh Shai, of the Almighty of the Most High, giveth them understanding. You see that? So, we gonna go now, my, my bad, matter of fact, let's go into John chapter 8, and I'm gonna start at verse 40, I believe it's 43, I wish I was speaking to the high priest, which were Levites, all right, then you had Judites and, and Benjamites in that region at that time, the southern kingdom. A lot of these so-called Christians always got something to say about Gentile this and Gentile that. They don't know nothing. To understand the Bible, you got to know the history. You can't just speak and just don't know nothing. You got to study. That's why the scripture is saying 2 Timothy to study to show yourself approved. A workman that needeth not to be corrected, but rightly dividing the word of truth. So if I don't know something, you know what I do? I go home or whatever I study or wherever I'm at, I study. 
Something that you so-called Christians don't do, you Muslims don't do. That's why we can easily confound you. And if you did study, we're still going to confound you. Because this book is only for the Hebrew Israelites. And that's just the fact of it. You see that? John chapter 8, and let's start at verse um, 40, 42. Yahweh Shai said unto them, If God were your father, he would love me. For I proceeded forth and came from from Yahweh why Yahweh Shai, excuse me. Neither came I of myself, but he sent me. So that right there cuts that Trinity uh, gospel. Oh, God is a uh, God the Father, God the Son are the same spirit. No, they are not. Okay, the Father created his son. That's so simple, common sense, man. That's why a young child uh, 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 should not be telling his father what to do. Because back in the ancient world, a law by, by, is punishable by death. If that son was constantly being stubborn and going against his father or his mother, they would bring him out to the gates of the city and the people would stone that child to death. Because that child would bring, cause cancer, then what? More, more, more cancer spreads and as soon as you know it, it's a wildfire you can't put out. So anyway, verse 42, Yahweh said sent it to them, if Yahweh were your father, he would love me. For I proceeded, so these Israelites back then didn't believe that Yahweh Shai was the Messiah. A so-called black man from the tribe of Judah. And he wasn't no damn cracker with stringy hair and, and blue, blue eyes or blonde hair. For I, like the, the Christian church believes or, or, or a lot of people in this world believe. For I proceeded forth and came from Yahweh or from the, from the Most High. Neither came I of myself, but he sent me. Why do we not understand my speech? Even because they cannot hear my word. And that's what Sakari, he, they don't hear the Most High's word. It's not speaking to them. You can't establish, oh man, here's another scripture. I, I, I don't want to grab so many scriptures. I'll, I'll get lost over here. But you cannot establish your own self-righteousness. You can't clothe yourself with your own self-righteousness. It don't work that way. You cannot climb up some other way. You can't say, you know what, I'm going to learn from this Israelite camp. Then I'm going to try to start my own thing but apply other Israelite camp beliefs into my belief. It doesn't work that way. It's either one doctrine and no doctrine at all. It's, it's one way and no way at all. Yahweh didn't come to pave multiple ways. Yahweh didn't come, okay, you go this way, y'all can teach this, that, blah, blah. No, it's a narrow way. It's a narrow way and that's the narrow way we got to follow. No matter how much we suffer in this society, no matter how much people hate us or talk bad or talk down about us, we have to suffer. You're not going to escape that. Yahweh Shai himself suffered. So what makes you think we're going to, um, to not suffer or get away with it? You see that? So it says here, uh, John chapter 8 and verse 43 again. Why do we not understand my speech? Because even because it cannot hear my word and Sakari cannot hear the words of the Lord. Doesn't matter how many precepts they pull. Like I said, do not pull any more precepts from the Bible ever again. Don't use it. Don't use it. Matter of fact, yes, the scripts in Psalms, matter of fact, I'll grab it right quick. Psalms 50, um, I believe, yeah, 50 and, oh man, hold on. And verse, um, 16 and this also applies to wicked Israelites too not only to the so-called white man Esau Edom or Ishmael or these Christians no this applies to wicked Israelites as well Psalms 50 and verse 16 and call um but unto the wicked Yahweh why Yahweh Shai saith what has thou to the to do to declare my statutes or that thou shouldest take my covenant in thy mouth Seeing, seeing thou hatest instruction and castest my words behind thee. So by throwing the book of Hebrews away, you know what you just did? You just threw yourself away, you dumbass niggas. The scriptures tell us what? To live and eat the whole road. Man should not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceedeth out of the mouth of the heavenly father and Yahweh Shai. You don't believe the book of Hebrews is, is, is biblical, but meanwhile it speaks about cutting Anybody that comes against this truth, the word of God is sharpened any two-edged sword. It goes into the new covenant, which is what ties in with Jeremiah, the chapter, 31st chapter. So what do you believe in? Oh yeah, I get it, bottle girls and strippers at your Passover. Who the fuck invites bottle girls and strippers at their Passover? You niggas are fucking gone, man. It's, I laugh at that shit, you know? 
But anyway, but unto the wicked, Yahweh, Yahweh shall say, what hast thou to do to declare my statutes? Or that thou shouldest take my covenant in thy mouth, so don't use it at all. Seeing thou hatest instruction and castest my words behind thee. That's exactly what Esau does in the society, so-called white man. He don't keep not one law in the Bible, but he swears in on the Bible. He don't even keep his own constitutional laws or, or constitutional or amendments. Okay, that's why it's called amendment. Amendment means to alter or to change. Look it up. Of course he called it amendment because he's going to change everything. Woe unto them that decree unrighteous decrees, Isaiah 10 and 1. So going back to uh, John chapter 8 and verse um, 43. Why do we not understand my speech? Even because he cannot hear my word. He are of your father the devil. And the lust of your father he will do. Now the Roman, when Yahweh spoke these words, what? The Roman Empire were ruling at that time. Right? And the devil means a, a accuser, diab, or deceiver. That's all it means. It's not nobody with a pitchfork and horns about to take you down in a place you burn forever. That's not biblical, man. You're not going to find one scripture that says you're going to burn forever. Okay? People look at the word forever and they actually mean it literally means forever as in an eternity. No, you got to look at the context of the scripture. Context within the text of the scripture. Okay? Study what, what word hell means. If you don't study Hebrew, the Greek, or the Latin, you're not going to know what it's talking about. All you're going to do, you have a self-opinion, an emotional statement is going to come out your mouth, and you don't know what it is. And we're tired of dealing with a lot of these people out here. We don't even waste our time. Like, leave us alone. You see that? Oh, man. But it says here, um, and the lust of your father he will do. So he of your father the devil, see how wish I called the Pharisees or the high priest or Sicarius, he of your father the devil. And the lust of your father he will do. He was a murderer from the beginning. Who's that speaking about? Speaking about Cain, which we know he, uh, Esau has the mark of Cain, which was what? Leprosy, man. Because Cain back then had pigmentation, right? But Esau, when it, when, when it, when it came down to Jacob and um, Esau, what? It told you there was going to be two different nations of people and two mannerisms and two different appearances. What race of people on this earth like pigmentation? It's not a hard uh, uh, answer to give. But then again, it's, this thing is deeper because you got what you call ch chocolate covered crackers like Frederick Douglass, like I always mention. You got a, what's the name of uh, the two twins on TV, Marie and Tina, whatever their names is. And you got... um. That bitch with those cheek bones, uh, with the cheek and she, um, dimples in the cheeks. What, what's her name? That her, um, her, her boyfriend got murdered in Los Angeles. Nipsey Hussle, I forget her name. Laura London. Lauren London, whatever her name is. Her father's a fake Jew. I am Lakite. But her mother's like, you know, mulatto, dark skin. So she looks like she's a, a Jake or an Israelite, but don't be deceived. And that's what you go, go when you go into the parable of the wheat and tears in Matthews. I believe uh, the 13th chapter. All right, because down south, when you had the, uh, the, the, the slave woman was being fucked by the, uh, uh, a white man or, or Esau. So who was that seed? Go, uh, go back to that man. All right, because we know lineage is of the man, not of a woman. A woman don't carry lineage. It's impossible for a woman to carry lineage. All that monochondral, whatever bullshit people come up with, that ain't, that ain't even in the earth, that don't even line up. Even the animals know that. You people, the animals can outsmart anybody out this motherfucker with ease. Oh, that's why the scriptures say to what? Learn from the animals. Learn from the animals, man. Because creation teaches you a whole lot that humans or these people out here will not teach you. Animals teach you a whole lot. That's why I like observing birds, turtles, all that shit. You know? Yeah, I wish I created all those animals for, for, for us to use and, and look at those animals and learn from those animals. You know? But anyway, it says here, he was a murderer from the beginning, and right, because he killed who? Abel, right? So Cain killed Abel in the beginning, so that's what Yahweh Shai is referring to. He was a murderer from the beginning, and a bow not in the truth. And it's also talking about Esau feeding our people with those philosophies in the beginning as well, because there is no truth in him. When he speaketh a lie, he speaketh of his own, for he is a liar and the father of it. So the so-called white man cannot tell you any bit of truth. No inkling of truth could come out the so-called white man's mouth or these other nations. Well, then again, yes, the Most High can use them 
to make their tongues to fall upon themselves like the scripture says well had these devil snitch on themselves yeah you put us on cargo slave ships you sold us yes you still got to go to slave you got to pay for everything your, your forefathers did and you devils are on the surf still but anyway verse 45 i'm gonna wrap it up soon and because i tell you the truth he believed me not so your house i was filled with truth all he did was speak truth 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 not one lie ever came out of Yahweh's mouth and not one lie will ever come out of Yahweh's mouth or the prophet's mouth and it says here verse 45 and because I tell you the truth he believed me not right because they weren't um, predestined to get this truth everybody calls themselves an Israelite doesn't mean they're going to be saved on this side a lot of Israelites on this side with 66.6 .6 of you Israelites got to be put to death and out of those 66.6% .6 of you Israelites, a lot of you are women. I was just about to, I was catching a train, right? I was in Penn Station or whatever. And um, earlier, in, or in New Jersey, on the Penn Station, the New Jersey side, and you had these bitches like, like fucking, fucking see-through shit. You see they ass cheeks, they titties popping out. Then you had this one bitch, she put in a phone like this. You know the pose that women always do? They do that funny looking ass pose like they put their ass cheek on a sink, on a bathroom sink. They do the same exact shit. That shit is fucking cancerous, man. You niggas fall for that shit. Damn, man. You niggas fall for anything that has a, a nice looking physique, man. Our women back in the ancient world ain't do that shit, man. They ain't even act like that. They, was, they, they reverenced their husbands, man. All right, but that's another story to go to. But I'm not going to get all deep into that. But you had a bitch with a with a with a, a well, she's a bitch because she is a shameless woman, a dog. She'll be counted as a dog, right? A shameless woman should be counted as a dog. So she had the phone up like this, and like the stupid ass look on her neck, like almost broke her fucking own neck, trying to get the right pose. A lot of these women, before they come out the house, they got to get take at least a thousand poses. I know because I got a niece, they used to do that shit. I used to come out my room and she'd be right there in the mirror all day. I go to work, okay, come back, she's there. I leave, come back, she's there. Fucking hair falling out, chemicals in her fucking hair. You know, and this is a, this place is a joke, man. And that's why a lot of you brothers shouldn't even, I'm gonna be honest with you, man, it's, it's actually better not even having children on the side, man. Pursuing a what? Jeremiah the 16th chapter. Because the Most High is gonna kill a lot of these kids too, man. Yeah, goats. He's gonna kill a lot of these kids. But anyway, verse 46, which of you convinceth me of sin? And if I say the truth, why do he not believe me? He that is of God, hear of God's words. So Sakari don't hear God's words because they don't believe in the Bible. He did, all they do is got some, some fringes on a shirt and that shit call themselves Israelites. You got a, a, a lot of uh, people actually falling for that shit. You know how much money they make off a lot of you Jakes? You know, they take advantage of the ministry, man, to make money off the people, man. You cannot be driven by money. Money should not drive you to, 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 to do the works, man. Women should not drive you. Oh, I see a bad chick over there. Oh man, I'm about to I'm about to stop saying what I'm saying, man. I see a bad chick over there. No, that's fucking delude. That's a, not not speaking the words of the most most high faithfully. Matter of fact, let me hold that one right there, and I'll end it off with that. Okay, but you got to do this out of a pure heart, up uh, out of sincerity. And it says here, John chapter eight and verse forty-seven: He that is of God, or Yahweh, why Yahweh shy heareth God's words, or the Most High's words. He therefore hear them not because he are not of God. You see that? So if you don't live by the whole roll, Ezekiel was told to eat the whole roll, meaning the whole Bible. Then what? You're not in the right spirit. You have to be demonized. You got to have people talking bad about you. What kind of prophet don't suffer? Now, of course, you don't, you don't, you, you don't bring that upon yourself, but you're going to go through that. Okay? So let me end it off for here. I'm going to grab one more precept, Lord willing. Sometimes I say that and I keep on, it's that spirit in us. Um, it says here, Jeremiah, oh, this is a beautiful precept. This is Jeremiah chapter 23 and verse 28. The prophet that hath a dream, let him tell a dream. And he that hath my word, so this is the point here, he that hath my word, 
and he that hath my word, let him speak my word faithfully. So you're supposed to speak the words of the Heavenly Father and Yahweh Shai faithfully. Just don't do it for filthy lucre, say for money. You have to do this out of a sincere heart. Okay? You have to do this out of sincere heart. Now, of course, okay, the ministry is nothing wrong with having money because brothers got good paying jobs and if it can help, if they can help out, do it. But I'm speaking about these other Israelite camps that are in the wrong spirit. That's not real brotherhood, man. I'm going to let you know right now. That ain't real brotherhood in these other Israelite camps. Okay? Brothers fighting at camps. And you got the, 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 the brother fighting at camps, man. What's that? The uh, Northern Kingdom prophet. I don't know where they at. But I believe that's his page. The Northern Kingdom prophet. Fighting at camp. Antagonizing a fight. Who does that, man? How you going to get the word out? Oh, I'm an Israelite. Oh, I can speak. No, man. This thing is more than knowing you're an Israelite. Know how to conduct and... and uh, know how to have the right mannerisms in his truth. Don't be starting shit with everybody. Okay, now if people come up to you and, and mad at the word, that's, then that's fine and legit. That's legit because they're supposed to hate the word. Okay, so let him speak. So it says here, uh, Jeremiah 23 and 28, the prophet that hath a dream, let him tell a dream. And he that hath my word, let him speak, let him speak my word faithfully. What is the chaff to the wheat? Save the Lord. Is not my word like as a fire? Save the Lord in the book of Hebrews ties in with that. Hebrews the fourth, fourth chapter in the twelfth verse. The word of the Most High is sharper than any two-edged sword, piercing even to the dividing asunder of soul and spirit. Is not my word like as like as a fire? Save the Lord, and like a hammer that breaketh the rock in pieces. Oh man, matter of fact, I got to get this one too. This goes for the prophet, so-called prophet Muhammad. The prophet Muhammad as well. Abibi! <laughs> Jeremiah chapter 23 and 30. Therefore, be behold, I am against the prophets. So the Most High is against the Sakaris as well. Let's read it again. Therefore, behold, I am against the prophets. Save the Lord, Yahweh, why Yahweh Shai. He's against the false prophets. So basically, that's simple, straight to the point. That steal my words, everyone from his neighbor. So ain't Sakari stealing the Most High's words? All these other Israelite camps stealing the Most High's words. Don't use it. It's not for you. If you're not going to use it faithfully, then don't use it. That's basically what the Most High is telling you here. That's what the Most High is telling you here. If you're going to steal his words, guess what? You're a false prophet. The Most High's got to put his word in you. You got niggas stealing the word. That's how you know they're not sent by the Heavenly Father. Jeremiah 23 and 21, I have not sent these prophets, yet they ran. I have not spoken to them, yet they prophesied. You see that? So with that, giving all praises, glory and honor to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Waharakak, Wadash. Double honors to the elders and the apostles, the great millstone who I learned is true from. Okay, and all you faithful locked and thought the four winds continue pushing and endure to the end. And don't be like these other nigger lights out here. Shalom.